another mood. Chode Stomper Peasant has been possessed. He was over here. Still working on getting that set up. And we've still got zombies in the airlock as well. We haven't managed to kick them out. Let's see what goes on here. Where are you heading, Chode Stomper? Do we have the right workshop for you? We should be able to set up almost anything as long as it doesn't need an anvil. And it's automatically saving for winter. Our yearly autosave. It's now year 134, first granite. And people are running around a little bit hungry and thirsty. The geckos are frustrating people over by the well, and the zombies upset everyone's appetite earlier. Chode Stomper claims a craftsman workshop. Make us something good there, Chode Stomper. I don't want a Diorite mug with circles of chalk. Make it something worthy of the vault here. And I think Slaxer keeps canceling that store owned item because he's claiming all the items here from the dead people that I'm just going to forbid for now. Quit throwing your tantrum, Slaxer. I don't know what it is you think you own, but you can't get to it. Chode Stomper found everything he needed and began the mysterious construction already. It only took him one day to find everything, and second granite. He decided to keep his demands fairly simple so that he didn't get kicked out of the vault or forced to go insane. And this room's almost cleared out. Magma's almost filled up the grill completely too. That'll equalize eventually. How far down did it drain? So it freed us up this level. We can now go up here and shouldn't have to worry about fire imps crawling out. I don't think they can reach it. But we do have that zombie there. We'll find a way to get to him. We may not be able to kill all these zombies up here, but he'll pay for for what they did. Butcher shop seems to be running fairly well. 113 animals. The only ones that aren't locked up are cats that I couldn't catch. Hey, Chode Stomper completed his. A granite ring. So, Chode Stomper, your item is called Muted Wells, the Fall of Evenness, a granite ring. A value of 48,000 dwarf bucks, or 4,800, I mean. This is a granite ring. All craftsmanship is of the highest quality. It is encircled with bands of granite. On the item is an image of a spotted toadstool in granite. And on the item is an image of Pillar Split, the Serpent of Armory, is the Cave Oak, Desert Eagle, and Turtle Shell. So now the Desert Eagle has a companion item, I guess. A ring of power to go along with it. We'll take more artifacts like that and less of the metalsmith kind. We'll give you something for your gracious contribution to our vault, Chode Smith. Chode Stomper. Give you a bigger, better bedroom eventually. Maybe I'll start designing some more rooms up here. Still gotta get the noble rooms designed out. Still need to find a way to get beds. How is our tunnel over there going? Our water tunnel. I've got all the doors down there. Finish placing these doors and then we'll start hooking up the levers. Where should we place the levers? Looks like the zombies have left, the siege has left. They must have just recently... ...have decided to get out of here. I was over here building this. This is gonna be the side entrance, I guess, you could say. A little side shoot-off. You'll go down this tunnel down here, and this will be the airlock to our... ...to our underwater tunnel where the trees will be growing. But if they're... If any geckos or anything do get sucked down here, we'll station military and send them through to clean it out first. I'll set those levers up. 
here in a little bit. That zombie's still stuck in there. Let's have a little bit of fun with him, should we? I'm not gonna open that switch yet. Or uh, that bridge yet. I'm not gonna pull it. Where was it? Where's the airlock? There's the airlock. I'm not gonna bring that out yet. Once we do, I wanna make sure that our miners are gonna be able to go directly there. And that'll be the first thing they do. I can, however, go back out here. So let's tear that wall down. We're gonna get Kelderon and the Sheriff activated. Oops, I always do that. We're gonna activate these two, get them on duty, and I'm gonna send them out here. We'll send them right here, and hopefully they'll shoot the, um, Vault Dwellers can go outside. Oh yeah, let's check those Super Mutants up here too. Make sure they're not at the top of that tower. They ran away. So with any luck, we'll get this floor here finished. Really need to get that thing up and running. Make it more secure. Instead of just having an open floor up at the top. When that wall comes down, we'll get Kelderon and the Sheriff out here to start shooting at this zombie who caused me so much grief. I'm just glad we outlasted that siege. Still got plenty of food. It's 134, 27th granite. He was tearing that wall down. Jay Crittner? You like hanging out around here by the butcher shops. He's one of our butchers, Kobe619. You're, I guess, grabbing bones or animal fat, moving that out. Or you were going to. Someone beat you to it. Yeah, they're still getting interrupted by that zombie wrestler down there. I really hope that. I really hope that Kelderon and the sheriff don't. Some, for some reason, dodge off to the side here. Station them right there. The zombies over on that side. We'll switch back to the zombie whenever they run out on the bridge. There's Kelderon, it looks like. He's shooting at the zombie. Hasn't struck him yet, I don't think. I don't see any blood. Shot at him again. Bullets are whizzing by and striking the ground. The zombie's dancing around. Still hasn't been shot, has he? Yeah, he's been hitting the upper leg. Both of his lungs are pierced, his heart is pierced, his lower spine is pierced. So he's getting riddled with bullet holes, but his rotten, decayed zombie body doesn't even notice it. That's good to know. These guys take a lot of shots to bring down. Let's see, we've shot him in the head and the lower body. I think both of his eyes are missing. If I'm reading that right, his nose, his right lung, he has no throat. How am I supposed to beat a siege like this? Maybe I will have to put a few traps up there. Put 15 bozars, or 10 bozars I guess is the max, on one weapon trap. A zombie will step on it and get shot by 10 all at the same time. We'll see who lives through that. Kelderon stunned. The sun's finally getting to him. And what are you doing, Zach Laws? No, don't chase opponents. Zach's probably looking for his gun. Kelderon's still just blasting away. You're gonna have to completely take off the head, Kelderon. The zombie is healed a little bit, apparently, I think. He's still blind. Well, this is disheartening. There's Zach Laws. However, he's getting messed up by the sun as well. Still don't have the garden built. And you're still using the Bozar. You've got a quiver. I hope there's ammo in it. Well, I was hoping they'd be able to kill this zombie, but I'm not sure that they will. Let them shoot at it a bit more. 
No one jump off of there while we'll I go look at the rest of the base. See what's going on. Got a couple people with no jobs. Our miners look like they're finished.